Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at why certain American football games are called bowls. In 1901, the Roses Association sponsored a college tournament East-West football game between Michigan and Stanford. In this game, Stanford quit in the third quarter, being down 49 to nothing. For the next 15 years, this annual event stopped featuring football and rather featured other events such as chariot racing. However, in 1916, the Roses Association decided to sponsor a football tournament once again, this time between WSU, then called the State College of Washington, and Brown. The game was held at Tournament Park in Pasadena, as were subsequent annual matches. Fast forward five years, and they had need of a stadium to play the game at since attendance for this tournament had swelled massively. Myron Hunt was commissioned to design a stadium for this purpose, which was completed two years later and named Rose Bowl. Like many other college football stadiums since, Rose Bowl was modeled after the design of Yale Stadium, Yale Bowl, which got its name from the fact that it resembled a bowl, much like the Rose Bowl. This tournament, sponsored by the Roses Association, was then named the Rose Bowl after the stadium. Gradually, other cities and universities with football teams saw the money-making opportunities and promotional value of these tournament games and began creating their own bowl games, even though many of these games were not played in bowl-shaped stadiums. The NFL eventually borrowed the terminology when they created the Pro Bowl in 1951. In 1970, the AFL and NFL merged and they created a championship game which had the very creative name of AFL-NFL World Championship Game. This game was called such for two years while the final details of the merger were being worked out. Upon the third AFL-NFL World Championship Game, the merger was complete, and this championship game was rebranded the Super Bowl after the college naming convention. The third matchup was called Super Bowl III, with the three being in Roman numerals, and this set the tradition of using Roman numerals for the Super Bowl rather than the year of the game. So I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, if you've got a suggestion for a why question like this that you would like us to answer, do let us know in the comments below and we will do our best to check those out and hopefully make something. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.